I live here in South Walden and I love to get out and explore these wonderful natural areas that we're lucky to have and that's part of the reason why I'm here is because we have these special places. I love the area, it's beautiful. The natural resources that we have in this area are just spectacular. This is the 7th annual Back to Nature Festival and it's a weekend here in South Walton County where we can all get outside and really celebrate and enjoy these really wonderful natural areas that we have here. We really have a unique place. I almost describe South Walton as kind of like an enclave and when you look to our neighbors to the east and west, we really kind of chose a different path for our future here in that we have these wonderful little walkable, uh, bikeable, human scale communities and then surrounding that we have these large areas of a contiguous open space in the state parks uh, and the state forests. Actually about 40% of South Walton is preserved in state parks and state forests. So at least this one week in the, of the year, this is our chance to really celebrate that and to get out and enjoy these special places. Is your breath smooth? We started with this wonderful event, Awaken the Day, on the beach at Sunrise in Grayton Beach. We had a local fellow, Philip Ellis, with one hand clapping, take us through some meditative type of exercises. I'm showing some techniques to kind of enhance the overall experience of what you're doing at Back to Nature. So we just sit down and, and it's there are ancient techniques of going through the breath, going through the body and the mind, so you can still the body, still the mind, and still the breath. And take that curiosity and focus on the sun that you feel hitting your skin. It's just a really good way to come out here, get in touch with nature, get quiet, and really start the day of these festivities right. There's a back pad right here, the triangle right there, there's a toad. We had a great event called Tracking the Wild Critters. We have a local uh, fellow who tracks wildlife and he's a real expert. He's a real master because he's out there every day in the woods tra tracking these animals. What we had today was a tracking class. Uh, hopefully we wanted to teach some people uh, to identify a few animal tracks, uh, stuff they have in the neighborhood, and it'll have them out somewhere down the road if they ever have animal problems. He can always get down to actually get down to which direction was the animal going. You can find places where actually two animals came together and interacted in some way, and maybe what were they doing? Were they fighting? Were they mating? What were they doing? Uh, and then even looking at the scat, which is the the droppings from different animals, and looking at what did they eat. Those are berries. Those are those are um, not berries. Palmetto. Some of them are palmetto, palmetto berries, and that is a persimmon seed. Oh. Is that one gone through, so can we plant that one? <laughs> it's already been planted, but if you want it, you can have it. What? <laughs> <laughs> We have this wonderful Point Washington State Forest here, 15,000 acres that we can get out in and recreate. And so we had a wonderful hike there this afternoon where we explored really three kind of main things. One was looking at the butterflies that are coming through this area here in the fall with all the uh, plants in bloom, like a lot of the goldenrod and such, the monarchs and gulf fritillary butterflies. And then, uh, and then looking at the wildflowers. We have really a spring and a fall blooming wildflower season. So right now there's a lot of things in bloom for the fall. And then also we just looked at the, the, the forest and talked about the history of the forest and these larger level issues like how fire affects the forest. A lot of times people think about fire as a negative thing, but actually fire is a very vital part of almost every ecosystem in Florida. And the forests and areas that have fire are actually healthier than ones that where it's excluded. So we want to help people understand that as well. And so we had a great time out there today. No, plastic's not good, is it? There's not any nutrition in plastic, is there? And they get tangled up in the little crab legs and get pulled off. We had a great uh, day today at Family Fun Day. It's the first time we've ever done this, but this was our opportunity to, I think, broaden the Back to Nature Festival really to more families and kids. And so it was a whole day of, of nature-related activities for kids, a lot of hands-on stuff, doing art projects with a lot of recycled and reused materials. Really, one of the big hits was there was a tortoise there, a gopher tortoise from Negosi Plantation. And the gopher tortoise is a, an endangered species or threatened species here in the state of Florida. First time we've ever done this, we did an event called uh, Exploring the Coastal Dune Lakes via Bicycle. And we have these very unique uh, systems here called Coastal Dune Lakes that are only found in a couple places in the world. And they're these lakes that occasionally connect to the Gulf of Mexico. And so we had a nice bike ride along those with our local marine extension agent from the University of Florida, Brooke Sari, who, who led us along. And we stopped at these very scenic places overlooking the lakes. 
Put your pulse up, put your pulse up, and I'll have to take it all about. You do the whole thing, you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about, yeah. Every year on Saturday night at the festival, we always have a campfire out here in this wonderful setting here in Grayton Beach State Park. This year we're doing a drum circle, so we have a local uh, local fellow, Mike Beck, who actually makes a lot of drums, and he's brought a variety of different types to try out, and so hopefully um, just do a little bit of just kind of whatever comes from your heart and spirit and bring that out in people to, to uh, explore the drums, and so that, that'll be a lot of fun so as we're watching the sunset here. And I just love to try to spread the word about these pla special places and how they work so that people understand them better and can get out and enjoy them more, so. Every person, I guess every person's got their own reason for caring about it. Why I care about it is I grew up with it and I'm watching it disappear every day.